guys and welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video sorry my little ice cube and my glasses ching chinging you guys um it's hot outside so i've got a refreshing drink today i've got myself a diet ginger ginger beer diet ginger beer ginger beer light They're so refreshing. Today I have a haul for you guys from H&M. It's been a while since I've done a H&M haul. To be honest with you, wasn't even intending on doing a H&M haul. However, they sucked me in with their members offer of 20% off and there was one set in particular that I managed to get my hands on that I loved that I thought, do you know what? <laughs> I'm just gonna browse the rest of the website and I ended up with quite a few items. So I thought I would share them with you guys to make sure you are set and ready for this video sit back relax hope you enjoy and let's get into it just in case you are wondering what i'm wearing this is from zara last year i wore this so much last year as just like a comfy around the house jumpsuit that i actually bought two of them to get up the prices so that i can let you know how much everything was like i said i did get 20 percent off as well so it's always well worth checking that out if you're not already a member all it basically means is you just sign up with your email address quite often they'll give you early access to sale which is what i had the first thing i'm going to share with you is actually something that i ordered in two well two different items in the same print so i wanted to do a kind of comparison between these two because i clearly don't need both however they are very different in style so as much as I love this print, I feel like I'll need your opinion on which one you think looks best, which one you think I should keep. I got this one in a medium and it was $29.99, so let's try it on. I figured I might as well show you the whole process of this dress. So this is as it is, plain and simple. You've got these two drawstrings on either side, which you tie up just to kind of cinch in that waist. So I've just tied them with a bow and I think I would leave this neckline open, although if I come in closer you can see that there's a little drawstring, should you wish to tie it up. And then the sleeves as well, they're kind of split on the side, can you see there is a button there to do the main part of it up, but this part is all open. So it's actually quite a relaxed fit, it's a nice kind of mid axi length. Yeah, this is the first dress, now in comparison, Let's try it on the second, which I also got in a medium. And this one was $24.99. I did get two belts to try it on with, so I'll compare you, um, compare those with you once I've got it on. And this is what the second one looks like. The cuffs on these are done up all the way, and then it's like kind of a shirt style. Very relaxed fit, oversized fit. You could definitely just wear it got the little slit on the left there. You could definitely just wear it just very simply like so. However, let me show you the belts that I've got. So this first one is the cheap one at $12.99 and it's very plain in design. However, it's a little too big for me. So I'm gonna have to send this one back, but just kind of imagine what it would be like with this belt. And then the other one, which I, I think I prefer $17.99 and it's kind of like if you can see it's thicker around the middle section so the bit where the buckle does up is thinner and this one is a far better fit it allows me to cinch in the waist and kind of pull it over slightly and kind of shape the dress a little bit more around my waist so yeah I'm really happy with this one I definitely need some tan on let's just excuse the fact that i uh, wasn't prepared to film this video today but letting you into a little secret the builder's digger broke so i took that opportunity of no reverse beeping sounds to get this video recorded so uh yeah this is what this dress looks like having compared the two i love both of them i definitely am going to keep this one though so my question to you is whether or not i keep both <laughs> Okay, this was the set that I originally went on the website for. It was only $12.99 for the top, $12.99 for the bottoms. And they're like a fine knit in this beautiful cream colour. Definitely a top that I would alternate and pair with different bottoms. However, the bottoms themselves are like a, if I come back far enough, you might be able to tell, a collot style bottom. So they are slightly cropped, which I think makes a perfect kind of, style and cut for spring and summer i don't know why i just love a cropped um leg so anyway i loved this set i thought the fact that they were only 12.99 each was a mega bargain they were in a 
me, well, they had loads of sizes at the time that I was shopping. So fingers crossed they've got plenty left. I'll leave all the links to everything below in my description box. But I picked up the top and the bottoms both in mediums. So just for size reference, I'm usually a sort of 10 on top, 10 to 12 on bottom, and I'm about five foot five. So yeah, this is what the bottoms look like. They do go up quite high waisted, but because they're a medium, there are, you know, there's a bit of give there, so they drop a little bit. I think I would only wear these trousers though with this matching top. I'm gonna to share with you another dress now, again with the intention that I had of belting. However, this one does naturally have a slightly gathered waist. I got this in a small and it was only nine pounds in the sale. So let's try this one on now. Um, just wanted to kind of show you if we were to belt it. Just a rough idea what it would look like. Obviously it doesn't need to be belted because it's got that gathering. To be honest with you, I think I'm gonna send this one back. I feel like it's just a little bit frumpy. It's not that exciting. I have some basic tea dresses, which I'm gonna belt, which are in this box. And I think I'm gonna prefer them. So in fact, let me get one of those to share with you now. This is from the basics range in a medium. This one was 10 pounds. So look how oversized it is. But yeah, belted, I think it's gonna look lovely. Ta-da! Like an angel. This is it without the belt. And it does, I didn't realise, it does have slits on the sides. So let me belt it. But if you want it to just be, you know, like you've been wearing it nicely styled with a belt and your Vasia train is out and about, nice bag. And then you get home and just belt off and you can just chill and lounge in it. It's almost like a big, massive nighty. So this is it with the belt that I'm going to keep. I just pulled it over. Sorry, I'm looking behind you because the mirror is directly behind you. Um, but yeah. Much prefer it. I just feel like it's less frumpy, with nice trainers, handbag, sunnies on, styled a bit nicer. Let's try this dress. You can tell there's definitely a spring theme going on here. I've been eyeing up all of their latest spring summer dresses. I think the trip with H&M's, when they bring out a dress, it goes viral, so popular, then you can never get your hands on it. So I think the trick with H&M is to buy early. But anyway, I bought this, which is like a deep V, and low back with a puffy sleeve maxi dress. It does have a little tie at the back as well. This is definitely a cream. I mean, this is cream, and you can tell against this dress that it's got more of a yellowy undertone to it. I, if I'm honest, I prefer this cream. Okay, this was a new in style, so I didn't get this in the sale. It was $39.99, and I got it in a small. I feel like if a drink could ever go with an outfit, it would go with this outfit. This is what the dress looks like. As you can tell, a nice low back, very summery, very pretty. Love it. It definitely could be one of those dresses that maybe is a sellout and I would have regretted not getting my hands on it. I do love it, but <laughs> there is a, a little but. So I'm still undecided yet. The but is on the sleeves. Let me put my drink down. I feel a little bit restricted because of this part here, this seam here is already stretched to its max. And also, you may have heard me talk about this before, but tight things around my arms, just not a fan of. So they're all right lower, but above my elbow, and I do think this is triggering from having blood tests and not liking them. Anything above my elbow that's tight, can't stand it. So I feel like I can't pull it up to be like that, because I'd be conscious that I've got like tight things around my arms. Um, so for that reason and that reason alone, if you're not petty like me and you can manage that, then I do think this will be a lovely dress in summer on a nice holiday. We're off to Milan in May. Would have been lovely for that but I do think I'm gonna send it back. This dress is lovely. This is in a medium and it's a shirted short sleeve dress with a tie, like a very minimal tie waist. Let me see how much this one was. This one was $14.99, so let's try it on. Firstly, I've had to switch cameras because my other one, the memory card's full. I haven't got time to empty it and I can't delete anything off it. So anyway, I have switched to my other camera so if the audio or the quality is a bit different, that's why. So this dress is lovely. There is a slight issue with it being quite sheer and I also think I would prefer to belt it with the leather belt just because I feel like the way that it bows is quite naff. Do you know what I mean? It's just, it's not very nice. You can kind of tell here with the label 
how sheer this dress is. Move this camera down actually. I feel like it's more zoomed out than the other one. Get a better idea of it full length there as well. So yeah, that is the only thing that I would say about this dress. I'd say it's better suited to maybe just like a beach dress on holiday, which is a shame because it's lovely and soft, but just feels too thin for my liking. Okay, these are the next two items that I've got now. Firstly, let's talk about this bodysuit. I love the thick straps, the square neckline. It's a jersey fabric, so it's nice and comfortable. It was only six pounds, which I think is a bargain. It's got a square neck on the back as well. Um, it isn't a thong style, it's a brief, which I would always prefer a thong just to avoid VPL. Um, but nevertheless, it's definitely one that I'm gonna keep. If you're the sort of person that prefers to go braless, it's double layered up to here. So it's definitely supportive enough if you are that kind of a person to get away with that. As for the bottoms, these are like a ribbed trouser, very comfortable. They're too big for me, so I'm gonna have to return these. I did get them in a medium, so I'd say size down. They're also a little bit short. There is a little slit on the side. And obviously you can tell where the bodysuit is. They're a little bit sheer. I'm gonna send these ones back. They were only nine pounds, which I do think is a bargain, but not if I'm never gonna wear them. I'm not gonna try these ones on. I'll just share with you what they are because it's just like a basic set of five different, ri uh, not ribs, just vest tops, just very plain and simple. And then these are the tones that you get, which I love. So you've got black, you've got a nice kind of mushroom taupe color a beautiful cream, and then a kind of pinky nude, and then a white. Got these in a medium, and they're quite thin and simple, but I would wear these just like, I don't know, with some kind of comfy trousers like this and a cardigan thrown over the top, just as a nice little basic. 19.99 for the pack of Five. Okay, next up we have yet another bodysuit. This time this is a thong bodysuit. It was seven pounds and it's got a like square neck, but it's also got this double strap. Now I've got one of these Primark little triangle nude uh, bras on. It is only a single layered this one. So if you're not comfortable going braless, then obviously you're gonna have your bra straps on show. Now, oh, do you know what? This is annoying me keep slipping down. I prefer the other one, so I'm gonna keep the other one. Um, these bottoms are new in, so they were 24 99 These ones weren't reduced. I got these in a size 10, and they feel nice. I feel like they look all right, but they are quite thin. Slightly elasticated waistband as well, so they are nice and comfortable. But yeah, these are a size 10, just for reference. I got these ones that are also quite similar, so I'm gonna try these ones on so you can compare the two. However, I did pick these ones up in a 12 and they've got this gathered elasticated waistband on the back. And these ones were cheaper at 19.99 as well. I can already tell I'm gonna prefer these ones. I did get obviously a 12, so they are, they fit a lot more comfortable, I will say that, but they're, they're not gaping though. I think because they're elasticated at the back, you can get away with sizing up if you're in between sizes. I think these, would look nice with a basic white tee. You know, for a more casual look without having to wear jeans, because let me tell you, they are far comfier than jeans, and they're more sort of lightweight as well, so again, nicer for the warmer months. I almost feel like this is a bit out of season now. These um, jackets are, this one's 24 99 I think it was, 24 99 something like that. And um, it's one of those typical, very popular quilted, like, jackets. I will say though, this one's quite lightweight, so obviously you still have some, oh no, there's no pockets here. That would bug me. I feel like I always need a pocket, especially if I am going to wear this, how I'm imagining on a nice dog walk in the spring. I don't want to be reaching in here for treats and poo bags. I like them here. Um, I mean, that's trivial, but yeah, it's a nice length. It's nice and lightweight. I really like this one. Oh, love this one. Okay, this dress is from the Divided range. So it's a little bit uh, more affordable. It was 10 pounds. It's got kind of like a shoulder detail. It's not padding, but there's excess material here that kind of acts as padding. So it's a really nice capped sleeve. It's got slits on the legs. This isn't an extra large. I think that was the only size they had. Otherwise I would have well, they might have had a smaller size, but I thought for the fit and the style, like so, how I'm imagining wearing it, oversized, belted, 
and kind of gathered up here and I'm glad I went for the extra large. I'm sure a medium or a large would have been fine on me, but um, I don't regret getting the extra large. I think it fits lovely with a nice, I mean, it's a bit low, so with a nice little bandeau type bra underneath. Love it. Next up, I have this vest top. This is in a medium. Look how beautiful that color and that rib detail is. It's honestly so well made, this one. I really love even the little detail on the back of the neck. In fact, I'm just gonna try it on on top of this dress because I haven't got any bottoms to try it on with. But just so you have an idea. Oh no, this is not a good look. This is that first one that I showed you, the cream. So you can tell it's a far more taupe, mushroom, natural kind of colour. I love both. I love both. I feel like I couldn't not just show you this vest on properly. I've actually just put on the trousers with the other vest. And I also think this looks quite nice, the, the two-tone kind of outfit. So I know I said I'd probably only ever wear these trousers with the matching vest. I take that back if that other vest is in the wash or if I want something a little less well that's a white outfit then I think this is quite nice too so yeah this is what the vest looks like on properly okay this is definitely going to be one of those dresses that is a very summer nothing's touching my body dress you know when those days are just stifling here in the UK we just talk about it all day every day when it's just too hot and we don't have air conditioning to deal with it it's the perfect dress for that day because it's very light it's very loose fitting and comfortable. You can even just pop the straps down if you're just sat in the garden and didn't want tan lines. Let's try on the last and final dress now. Do you know what I should have done? I should have gone on to H&M Home and checked out their sale because I felt like I was too, oh my God, I need to get that white knit set that I was worried it was gonna sell out. I didn't even get a chance to have a look on the H&M Home. You know how my Zara Home, Zara Home, Zara Halls, I tend to feature some Zara Home bits as well, so. Let me know if you want more of these H&M hauls, and if you do, I'll definitely check out the homeware section next time. Oh my god, Manchester-based people, we have H&M home coming to the Trafford Centre. How exciting is that? Anyway, this is the last and final dress in a medium. It's quite similar to the white one. Uh, it's got a little slits, yeah, not quite as dramatic, but this one's a softer, again, light sage kind of colour. This one was £10. I feel like there's a recurring theme with around about the £10 mark for these t-shirt dresses. Last but not least, this dress. This does have pockets, so it has something very different to the rest of them. However, I don't know if it's necessarily the best thing, just because with it being belted, or with me putting a belt with it, and then kind of pulling it out like I do, it means that the pockets sit here and they kind of go out a little bit, so I don't know if it's the most flattering thing, to be honest with you. I do like the convenience of having a pocket though. Um, but yeah, that is what it looks like with the belt. The slit as well is less dramatic than the other one. Well, I say the other one. There's been a few in this haul. If you just wanted it loose at home, floaty, just, you know, like so, then this is how it sits. Thank you so much for watching this video. Do let me know if you want more H&M hauls and I'll be happy to do them. I'm a big fan of H&M, especially in spring and summertime. So I'm sure I will be heading back on H&M's website very soon, if not in stores. So let me know by giving me a thumbs up. Subscribe so you don't miss out on my future uploads and I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.